in the world of fragrance, making you smell delicious and offending you at the same time may be considered especially heinous. In New York City, a gorgeous Cubano and his elite squad of ball sprayers will seek out these colognes and investigate them. This is his story. Bitch. <laughs> My Tom Ford Tuscan Leather fans, are y'all motherfuckers prepared for a budget-friendly Tom Ford Tuscan Leather? Are you a fan of Tuscan Leather, but just don't have the coin at this moment to have that vibe on you? How about if I told you I got a Tuscan Leather-inspired fragrance with an extra mmm that doesn't slack on the performance factor, as a matter of fact, might do a little bit better. Pull my motherfucking music so I can put y'all on to this joint. Cause the DNA of this fragrance has been known to be beefy, but this got a little bit of swag to it. Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. This fragrance is by the house of Al Haramain. You know I've been messing with Haramain perfumes since like forever in a day. Cause y'all know them motherfuckers perform well on a budget. That's one of the houses that not only makes their original creations, but they also make their clones. And their clones always have some fucking power behind it. Some of their most popular clones are like the Aventus clone, Green Irish Tweed clone. This might be the next hype up. The fragrance that I'm talking about is none other than Al Haramain's Oud 36 Elixir. Now for those who haven't seen my Oud 36 review, which is like two years old at this point, that shit blew my fucking doors off when I first smelled it. Not only that, the packaging on this shit, if y'all never seen it before, it's kind of snazzy. It's got this leather patchwork. It's got this shit that gets stained all over the place. I don't know why it's got fingerprints all over the place, but it's a cool fucking box. It opens like, it's got a little velvety inside, well, velvet-esque inside, and this is the bottle. Now the bottle's actually pretty dope looking, although it looks kind of slanted, so if you're a little twisted or a little bit high, this shit's gonna be like, yo, why is this shit all wobbly and whatnot, but nah, 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 that's the way it looks. The juice in here, Tom Ford Tuscan leather with a performance bump. Haramain does not slack on the performance, especially on the ones that I've encountered and worn. This motherfucker's got some beef behind it. Not only that, if you like Tom Ford Tuscan leather with a bumped up raspberry note, this to me is what U36 Elixir is producing. I wore this shit and it lasted nine hours on my skin off of five sprays. This is a clone essentially with little modified nuances here and there, but nine hours? Bro, as Tuscan leather, it's usually suited better for either the colder, cooler nights or cold and winter months. Not everybody lives in cold climate. You Arizona and fucking South Floridians, y'all stay burning all year long. But this motherfucker right here is actually a sick, sick interpretation of Tom Ford Tuscan leather with a bumped up raspberry note. Of course, I have it on the handy dandy Cuba test strip, which has a little bit of mark of finger of Cheetos on it because, you know, I'm a fat boy. This shit has been on the test strip for about 20 minutes or so. That isn't skanky or shitty. And a bumped up raspberry note, which makes it a little bit more enjoyable, kind of playful. Mm, my left nipple is percolating because Tom Ford Tuscan leather is one of those Tom Ford private joints that are sick super popular and everybody messes with it hard body and more of like a little bit of a floral component dark masculine it has that straddle factor that you want on who or what that's up to you don't get me involved in your freakness u36 elixir is lit for you tom ford tuscan leather fans with a little bit of a flex this joint might be for you and from what i hear this is supposed to be a limited drop so they only have a limited quantity bottles and then it's never gonna be made again i don't know how Haramain is dropping exclusive shit like that like oh look at me i'm bougie whatever now, not only that, if you use the link below and go to Sniff Perfumes to purchase this joint, they said they were gonna throw in a complimentary fragrance bottle, 100 ml of a brand r, &R. You know Cuba State trying to get you the plugs, right? So if you use the link below to purchase this particular fragrance, so essentially you're gonna be getting two bottles for the price of one. You're gonna get Oud 36 Elixir and then you're gonna get an additional fragrance bottle for free 99. The plug is here. Whenever you wanna get a little bit of extra, you know I gotta tickle these guys' asses to throw in some kind of deals for y'all. I don't want y'all to pay retail. I like y'all to pay the discounted prices as much as I can. You know how many sexual favors I gotta do sometimes? Listen, I'm worn out and prostitution just became legal in New York so I gonna be selling my ass for high prices. IRS don't come after me. Is Oud 36 Elixir a ball sprayer? Yeah, I'm a Tom Ford lover and I like raspberry notes. So this is definitely going all up in my taint bag. Oh, that was a heavy spray on the sack. The sprayer is really good, by the way. 
fuck. Now my dingleberries smell like raspberries. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart and these heavily sprayed raspberry leathery nuts. And I'll see y'all bitches next time. Go to sniffperfumes.com, use the link below if you're interested in this particular fragrance. And I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is? It's the biggest in the fucking game. Jesus. Smooches. Who's best? One of them's gonna pass the test. Who the fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag. When it's time to call back. Uh, For the rough, rugged, and raw way. This nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would. <laughs>